Hello, today I have another great recipe for sourdough blueberry danishes. This is a recipe that is not easy to make, but I know you're gonna like it. So, here we go! To start, make a stiff starter by combining 40 grams or a quarter of a cup of water with 40 grams or a quarter of a cup of sourdough starter. Mix well to dissolve the starter. Then add 80 grams or 3 quarters of a cup of red flour. Keep mixing and use your hands to make a bowl of stiff starter. Place the stiff dough in a container. and place a rubber band around it to mark the level of the starter. Cover it with a lid and let the starter proof in a warm place. I am using my dough proofer at 86 degrees for about 4 hours. After 4 hours, my stiff starter is ready to use. So in a stand mixer, Pour 100 grams or 2 third cups of milk, then add 100 grams or half of a cup of water. Add all of the stiff starter, add 80 grams of sugar and start mixing your dough. Add 150 grams or one cup of bread flour and keep mixing. Then add 250 grams or one three quarter cups of all purpose flour and mix it until all the ingredients are well combined. Add 50 grams or three and a half tablespoons of butter and eight grams or half a tablespoon of salt. Keep mixing until the dough starts to pull off the walls of the bowl. I like to finish kneading it by hand until my dough is soft and elastic. Make a bowl of dough and place it in a greased bowl. Cover with plastic wrap. Let it proof for about 4 hours in a warm place at about 86 degrees Fahrenheit or 30 degrees Celsius. In the meantime, make a block of butter. Place 240 grams or 1 cup of soft butter on an 8 by 8 inch or 20 by 20 centimeter square of parchment paper. Fold the parchment paper to close the square. And use a rolling pin to roll and distribute the butter evenly in the whole area of the square. Once your butter block is ready, place it in the fridge to cool. After 4 hours, your dough should be ready, so take it out of the bowl. Stretch it and place it on a baking sheet. Cover your dough with a lid or plastic wrap and place your dough in the fridge for about an hour. In the meantime, I'm going to prepare the pastry cream to fill the danishes. In a cold saucepan, mix a half a cup of sugar and two and a half tablespoons of cornstarch. Add a pinch of salt and mix well with a whisk. 
In another bowl, mix one cup of cold milk, a tablespoon of butter, and two egg yolks. Stir well with a whisk and pour in the saucepan. Turn on the stove on medium heat and keep stirring until you have a thick consistency. Make sure to bring the mix to boil and keep stirring for two more minutes. And add one teaspoon of vanilla extract and mix well. Strain the pastry cream and place it in a bowl. Place a piece of plastic wrap directly on the surface to prevent a skin from forming. Let it cool completely and place it in the fridge. Be sure to make this cream at least two hours before using it. After one hour, take the dough out of the fridge, fold it in two and place it on your working table. Sprinkle enough flour on your working table and your dough. Roll your dough and place the block of butter on top. Your dough has to be long enough to be able to fold it and cover the whole block of butter. Fold the dough onto the butter Sprinkle some flour on your dough and start rolling your cold dough until you get a long rectangle. If you see any resistance or tearing, stop and let the dough rest in the fridge. If you see butter melting out or exploding out of the top or bottom, your butter was too warm, so cool it down in the fridge and then continue the process. Once your dough is about triple in length, trim the edges with a pizza cutter so that you have a uniform rectangle. Fold the dough in thirds. Sprinkle some flour on your dough. Cover with a plastic wrap and let it rest in the fridge for 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, roll the dough again until the dough triples in size. Trim the edges Then fold one corner of the dough in, just slightly Fold the rest of the dough in towards that slight fold And then close the whole thing like a book Cover with plastic wrap and take it to the fridge to rest for another 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, roll your dough until you have a 20 by 8 inch or 50 by 20 centimeter rectangle. Trim the edges of your dough. Now measure 10 squares of 4 by 4 inches or 10 by 10 centimeters. To shape your danishes, fold each square in half to form a triangle and then make two cuts in the middle to create a smaller triangle. Then open the square again and cross the opposite sides of the dough where you made the cuts. Place your danishes on a prepared baking tray making sure to leave enough space for them to rise. Cover with a plastic lid or plastic wrap and let them prove 
in a warm place for at least 8 hours. After 8 hours, brush your danishes with egg wash. Place them in a preheated oven at 375 degrees Fahrenheit or 190 degrees Celsius for about 20 minutes or until they are golden brown. Take them out of the oven and let them cool for about 10 minutes before decorating them. To decorate them, carefully remove the center of the danish and fill them with pastry cream. Place blueberries on top and glaze them with apricot jam. I know you will love these fluffy and delicious danishes that are perfect for any summer day. I really hope you can make this recipe. This is a very delicious recipe and I'm pretty sure you're gonna like it. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I have a new recipe every week. Thank you for watching.